Hi everybody. Um, I haven't been on here in a while, so I just wanted to do another uh, a quick uh, video. I'll do. I'll go do some more in-depth ones uh, a little bit later on. But um, unfortunately, I had lost my neon green carpet anemone a while back, oh, which was a bummer. I'll explain that in a later video when I discuss uh, carpet anemones. Um, but anyway, I do did did get this uh, blue bluish purple uh, Hadani. Um, and added him to the tank and then I did get a and as I told you guys on uh, several videos ago that in 2021 I was going to add some more wrasses and I did get this little guy here he's a radiant wrasse in the genus Holochorus the same genus as um, the earmuff and the same genus as the Melanaris who's over there um, but anyway, I would cons even though they're a holochorus, I would consider them probably as difficult as a leopard wrasse as far as acclimation goes. But I think they're pretty, I, I, I like them, they're pretty, um, pretty neat. They're from Africa, so, and they're, and they're not, I haven't, around here you don't see them as often in the aquarium trade. Um, so... You know, and what's good about holochorus is, and now every fish is different, so don't quote me on this if something happens to you guys, but um, with holochoruses, you can mix them a lot easier than you can other kinds of wrasses, such as thalassomas or something like that. Um, they tend not to be as aggressive towards each other. So, and, and again, every fish is different, but in my personal experiences, I've had, had luck with more than one holochorus uh, species in the tank. Um, so, that is about it for today, and I will um, definitely be doing a video um, you know, with discussing carpet, you know, carpet anemones, um, and even holochorus wrasses, a lot of people do ask questions. Um, and, oh, I did add, I think you guys saw this the last time, my uh, cocoa worm. So I was after one for a long time. So, and other than that, I haven't added a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, I changed around my uh, anemone cave here, my anemone rock. Um, these guys make, ba you know, have babies every so often, and I trade them in at the fish store. They get a pretty good price for them now. Um, I did add that little uh, Hollywood stunner chalice frag because they they do grow pretty fast. So, you know, just trying to. Um, You know, I'll do a little bit SPS coral up there. I'll add some. I haven't done anything on this coral tree, but I'll be adding some more. Um, some SPS. All SPS will go on here. And then down there is my. Is it also a chalice? So. And then that, that's my. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's my. Uh, Um, dragon soul torch which they, they look cooler at night so than they do during the day but um, anyway so that is basically it for any updated news sorry I haven't had a video in a while I'll definitely be doing one on carpet anemones and definitely one on holochorus wrasses um, as well all right thanks guys for watching if you liked it subscribe or start share my videos i'll be happy um you know to answer any questions that anybody has and thank you for watching happy reefing